hello guys today we are going to be making this beautiful amazing emulsified body butter look at that color i love the color i love the texture i like the skin feel when i apply it i love how quickly it absorbs onto my skin i like that glow you look at that okay this is an amazing butter okay now when you make a body butter this is how it looks like it looks fluffy it looks fun it looks light it looks like it's going to be like this for the rest of the time that is going to be in this container but no you quickly realize that a couple of weeks it becomes this hard hard thick butter you really do not like this consistency and sometimes too when you ship it it melts on the way so we're going to be using those same butters but this time around we are going to make a product that is more stable that will have a the same consistency despite the weather and that's what we call the emulsified body butter we're going to be introducing water like you've seen here and then we'll be introducing let's say an emulsifier that will ensure that the water and the oils that we have been using all this while will bind together because you know water and oil do not mix right okay so that's exactly what the emulsified body butter is we are just introducing some components to your already existing oils that you use for your body butter to ensure that you have some stability and some consistency and doesn't get affected by weather okay so we have water and also too we will be introducing glycerin like i've just done glycerin is an optional ingredient but it's a humectant what it does is that it attracts moisture onto the surface of your skin so those are some of the added benefits of an emulsified body butter now to do that like i already mentioned we'll be using an emulsifier an emulsifier simply is a component that ensures that your water and your oil are mixed properly because you know when you pour water in oil or oil in water the water the oil floats and the water is at the base and so you want something that will ensure that these two mix together so we are going to be using this um uh, emulsifier it's a normal emulsifier it's called soft and silky it is from um i'll check <laughs> okay so but i think it's from uh crafter's choice yeah okay and then we'll be introducing something we call a core co emulsifier uh that can be your normal the popular one cetyl alcohol or steric acid these are to ensure that when you bind your oil and your water using your emulsifier it stays so it becomes stable so it ensures that it doesn't break sometimes when your emulsifier is not too good you have something we call separation and so your core emulsifier ensures that this is stable and in this case we are using the acetyl alcohol as our core emulsifier it also adds an other uh, layer of thickness to your to your emulsion now we've just added in our shea butter so we are going to be using the same oils and butters that we've been using in this body butter series we are sticking to that because i just really want you to see how you can use the same things though the same oils just to you know make different different butters like we've been doing so we've measured our shea butter and shea butter is a major part of this we're also going to be using our turmeric infused coconut oil that we used in the previous uh body butter and um look at that that gives you this beautiful yellowish color and as you saw in the preview that's how the body butter is going to look like so we measure that also and then the next thing we are going to be measuring also is our um sesame oil okay all right so we're measuring in our sesame oil i think we we're measuring in our sesame oil as well okay so we i think we measured in our cocoa butter earlier and what we are going to do is to melt these two together and you know get uh heat them up together and then when you are done you pour in your oil phase into your water phase and so we have two phases we measure the oil the items that are oil soluble in a different container and the ones that are water soluble also in a different container once we are done then we need to agitate this mixture or to stir it up to bring it to um, an emuls emulsion 
okay that's when the oils and the butters have been thoroughly incorporated or thoroughly mixed together and that's the stage that we call an emulsion and this is a very hot mixture so do be careful when you get to this stage make sure that your hands are properly protected and ensure that you know you do not overly burn yourself you can see that a lot of steam when we start mix, mixing it this is a very hot uh, mixture so I still have my allergies so <laughs> it might come through okay so you will stick blend this and leave it and then go and then come back maybe in, in five minutes and once you do that and you leave it to start cooling it starts to form this thick layer on top of it uh -huh. and so that the kind of layer then you know that you have reached an emulsion but you need to still continue to mix it to ensure that everything is thoroughly mixed in nice and beautiful okay so once we continue to do that it will now finally thicken up like so okay so this is going to be a very thick mixture simply because you have a lot of butters in the oil phase usually you would um the normal ratio for uh an emulsion is 70 percent water and then 30 percent i'm just talking about basics okay so when you are going to make a lotion you can increase that to let's say 80 85 percent and then when you want to make a thicker butter you can 60 or 70 percent and a bit lower 65 is a very very thick butter i mean 65 percent water 35 percent oil or 30 percent oil is a very um very thick butter because we're making a body butter we want it to have the same consistency as a body butter just that it will be an emulsion so this is how it looks it's a very thick butter but once you add your cool down phase which is your fragrance oils or your essential oils and your preservatives and any other additives that you have you sort of you know loosen it a bit in terms of the thickness and so that's basically what happened so we're using yogurt yogurt is a natural preservative you can use i think it's ecoset approved so this is a natural preservative that i've had for some time now and so that's what we're going to be using to preserve this so a preservative is a must when you're making an emuls emulsified emulsified body butter <laughs> because like i said in the previous video water is life so wherever water is you have the growth of microbes and so you want to use a preservative to ensure that you minimize it this is not vitamin e vitamin e is not a preservative it's an antioxidant that's a difference it's an antioxidant it's just to ensure that oils do not oxidize but this ensure that you do not have growth of microbes and other things in your your product simply because you have introduced water and water soluble substances into it so you do need a preservative when you're making an emulsified body butter okay all right and then i chose um this fragrance oil um vanilla bean from nature's uh not, not from nature's from nature's garden yeah and it's also a very good fragrance i like it and this is a body butter that i would like to use i have dry skin so i prefer an emulsified body butter um over just the normal body butter because i need some hydration on to my skin and the water in the emulsified body butter gives me the hydration and then the oils and the butter sort of seal in that moisture that i have so that works really fine so at the end of the day this is how our emulsified body butter it's looking it still has the yellowish color from the small coconut oil that we used that small amount i think 20 grams or so look at how it has influenced the color of the final product and let me just mention that this does not stain if you fetch your uh, your turmeric powder and you drop it into your your mixture it will stain you but if you infuse it and use it in diluted quantities like so um you will not have any stain in your clothes or uh, uh, yeah so this does not stain at all all right so we're gonna just jar this up and then um,
so this is how we we are using this um, container is also 250 grams so it's able to um, take everything and uh, then also one of the disadvantages of the emulsified body butter is that you don't have an increase in volume so if it's a 250 gram batch that you're making you get exactly the 250 grams in as opposed to the normal body butters or the whipped body butters where you can whip a 150 gram batch into a 250 gram uh, vessel or container and so that usually those are some of the differences in terms of marketing of course the uh, the emulsified the body butter there's a lot that you can talk around but the normal body butter too you get a lot of profits because you're only using four or sometimes six ingredients and in this case you're using about 10 or so ingredients and so uh, in terms of markup and other things the normal whipped body butter is a little bit more profitable and so this is how it looks like you can just you know clean it up in whichever way you want and then you can have um, you can have it so this is our emulsified body butter uh the recipe everything is in the description box you can give it a try give this a try and let me know how it goes if you want to know how we made the turmeric oil it's in the previous video i'll link it up here somewhere you can look at that that's how come we made that turmeric oil i hope this video has been helpful if it has kindly give it a thumbs up you know subscribe to our channel if you haven't we really appreciate it if you do so and then share in the comment section if you'll be making this i really want to know will you be making this let me know in the comment section if you will and now let's do a skin test i think that this is an amazing body butter and also the emulsifier is a very good emulsifier it does a, an amazing work doesn't really have a lot of soaping effects and leaves this sheen and glow on the skin so that also the difference is that this will glow your skin but it will not make you look like you have poured oil on your entire body and that is one of the reasons why i always like and prefer the emulsified body butter over the other ones okay all right thank you very much for watching this video and i hope this has been helpful do kindly subscribe and comment share this with your friends and family um and let us know what you think thank you very much and bye bye